Hey everybody, this is Brett. Today I am going to make a pair of orthotics for a new customer. And um, I make them out of vegetable tan leather now. And it's just so much better than any material that I've used before. And they're the same orthotics using millet hulls as the inner support mechanism. So they're totally adjustable for the arch of your foot. You get as much pressure as you need and they can form perfectly to the arch of your foot as well as they're all natural versus plastic or some kind of a petroleum product and so they're so much more comfortable and healthy for your body. Now today I received the imprint or the pattern from the customer in the mail and now I'm going to cut that pattern out and then I'm going to create the orthotics. So stick with me. Now this is what a pair of the orthotics look like after they've conformed to your feet. In the beginning when they're new they're flat but the leather it naturally wants to stretch and conform exactly the way it's supposed to to create a perfect image, a perfect um, mold of your feet. And what you do is you unzip the zipper on the side of the orthotic and then you spoon in as much millet hulls as you need for support for your arch. Therefore they're totally adjustable and natural. Now because these orthotics were made from the pattern from the insert from these shoes, of course they fit absolutely perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. <clears throat> As you can see. Okay, so now I take this paper pattern that the customer sent me and they created that from uh, the insert from their shoe that they want the orthotic to fit in. And I make a heavy paper pattern from some heavy paper and then I use that to make the leather, the leather pieces for the orthotics. Now this is vegetable tan leather. It's not tanned with chromium. It's tanned with tannins from trees, the traditional way. And it's more expensive, but it's so much healthier. It takes five times longer to vegetable tan leather than chrome tan it. And I'm all about the natural, so that's the way we're doing it. Okay, so I've got the pieces cut out, and now I've sewn a zipper onto one of the orthotics. And these are the natural rubber inserts that go inside, sewn in between, sandwiched in between the two pieces, like so. And then I flip them over, like that and sew those all natural rubber pieces in between to give it cushion. And you see this this is latex natural latex rubber from the the rubber tree and it has so much more better cushioning than that petroleum rubber foam stuff that they put in shoes nowadays and um, it's just a perfect example of how the natural things are better and less toxic and healthier for us. So there you can see how I've sewn the two pieces together with the natural rubber sandwiched in between. There's a zipper. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sew two seams across here and here. <clears throat> so that the holes will stay in the arch area. Okay, so now you can see I have finished the orthotics and they're very flat. But after they've conformed to your feet, because you've stuffed the pocket with millet holes, 
and the leather has stretched to conform perfectly to your feet, then you have you now have the best orthotic in the world. All natural, totally adjustable. <clears throat> Perfect. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.